Green flag is out and it's McGee with the edge on Lancaster as the top two enter turn number one and Lancaster's into McGee. The top two make contact in front of the field of Major Marie down the back straight away. Exiting turn number two, the top two. It's a great outing in the making for Taylor Ransom. Throughout the 2014 season, Ransom only managed four top ten finishes, no top fives, tenth in the standings, but each and every year, Ransom continues to improve. Could this be the breakthrough season Taylor Ransom has been waiting on at Motor Mile Speedway? He's to the back door of Carl Badevsky in turn three, gives the 26 a shot through the apex of the corner. Down the front straightaway, less than a car length, separating those two contenders. All this well behind of Landauer, it's now 1.3 seconds. The margin from first to second as Ransom becoming impatient with Badesky. A little bump and run out of turn number four. It got the 26 out of shape. Badesky collects it and back through turns one and two. The margin maintains half a car length from second to third. Talk about improved drivers. Ryan Collins is having an exceptional night at Motor Mile Speedway. He's working to the inside of the five machine piloted by Matthew Eads. Those two cars out of the corner, and it's Ryan Collins putting on a show in the red number three automobile. Eads loses that spot, and he falls into the clutches of Lancaster, who continues to set that 22 on rails. Eads gets loose and he's into Lancaster, into the outside while he collects Repco. A two-car crash down the front straightaway, and once again, it's Lancaster incurring cosmetic damage. Dead even at the stripe, they're two by two into turn number one. Landauer has driven a perfect race to this point. Challenge renewed for the top spot, it's Carl Badevsky. Top side of Landauer and Scott Lancaster is back in the picture. From worst to almost first, Lancaster to the back door of the leader in turn number two. Battle is for second as the 70 shakes off the 26 of Badevsky. What a race by Julia Landauer. Lancaster pushing up almost to the door of Badevsky. They touch. Trouble down the back straight away, and Lancaster is once again involved in a collision at the front of the field. The two tangled down the back straight away, and Badevsky gets the worst end of it. Up front is Cockrum, Landauer, and the 27 of Ransom all under a blanket for the top spot. 36 laps are in. Cockrum has company. Landauer has not faded from Cockrum's lead machine. Ransom could be in conservation mode. It has been a stellar race for the driver of the 27. Stephen Weeks, another impressive performance out of Team 41, and Dan Martin has made it inside the top five. Some new names up front in the Collision Plus season opener. What a race it has been. Darren Cockrum, one of the seasoned veterans, pitted against the 70 of Landauer in her first ever attempt at Motor Mile Speedway, driving for Lee Pulliam and Pulliam Performance. What a performance it has been for Landauer. They are rapidly converging on the 76 machine. That is Freddie Taylor, and due to the attrition on the track, Freddie Taylor currently rides in 11th. He will give way to the front runners. Cochran glides past the 76. Landauer follows suit, and not missing a beat. Landauer back to the back bumper of Cochran. She may have given him a shot in the apex of the corner. Peering beneath the 16 in turn number one, Cochran doesn't give her much room. Nine laps of racing remaining, and manners are out the window at this point. Cochran will give no quarter to Landauer, and Landauer is ratcheting up the pressure. The assault continues through turn number two. She is all over the back door of Cochran. 
down the back straightaway. She shoots to the inside. They plunge into turn three, two abreast. Landauer, it could be the pass for the win. Side by side at the line, Landauer to the inside of Cockrum. Cockrum will surrender the spot down the back straightaway. Lead change lap number 43. It's Landauer back to the point. In the top three separated by about five car lengths. Landauer out in front of Cockrum by four tenths of a second already. What a great race. The unheralded driver, an unknown, entering her first race at Motor Mile Speedway. Everyone will know her name by the end of this one. Julia Landauer. What a run for the driver of the 70 tonight. White flag is in the air. The advantage continues to swell. It's up to 1.5 seconds. Julia Landauer is coasting to her first win in her first career start at Motor Mile Speedway. What a race. Julia Landauer out of turn four. She'll see the checkered flag first. Your winner in the Collision Plus Limited Sportsman Division, Darren Cochran comes home second. Taylor Ransom places third on a historic night at Motor Mile Speedway, a first time winner in her first. Julia Landauer showed up to Motor Mile Speedway today and took the boys to the woodshed. First win in your first career start. Wow. This is incredible. I mean, it's been about four years since I've been in a stock car, so to come back with Lee Pulley in performance and just work really hard, keep digging, and to really, really show them a good race. Thank you for my competitors. They, like, we had a great fight at the end there, and yeah. I'm just so excited. It's so cool to start off the season with a really great win. Can you process what transpired in those 50 laps? How did you guys make it to victory lane? We worked really hard. We got the car set up really well. We had some luck with other people having some bad luck, and we capitalized on every moment and, you know, messed up that last restart a little bit, but then had to really just prove that I deserved the win and fight back, and uh, I'm really glad that it worked out.